This is a RedTech SSD. So you have a um, USB 3.2 Gen 2 SSD controller. And, yes. and it says worldwide lowest power yes. and highest capacity SATA SSD controller. Yes, yes. New product? This is our new product. And actually, we want to introduce our uh, portable solution to the market. So this year in the 2024 Computex, we announced uh, two new solutions. One is uh, our latest uh, SATA controller here. Uh, we, here we have a live demo with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 8 terabyte SATA SSD controller with a uh, bridge, a SATA 2 PCIe bridge. Oh, uh, this is the latest, uh, uh, our latest SATA solution with the less power consumption. So what is it showing here? Uh, USB Type-C. This is the power, how much is coming or what? Yes. Wait a minute second. So is low power or what? Shit, sure, low, low power. Let me demo for you. We can turn on the power resolution HDR with 4K 60 FPS. And this is an 8 terabyte SATA SSD. Here we go. Now we start. And uh, uh, for the iPhone external external SSD, it has a very critical power consumption requirement. It can only support 900 milliamp power for the external SSD. And now you can see we are recording now. And the power consumption is only around 220 and 230 milliamp. Wow, well, this is very, very power saving. What is the speed? The speed is around, the max speed for SATA interface is around 500 megabyte per second. Which is uh, very good, no? 500 is enough to do very good video. It's the best solution for the SATA SSD. It's cannot be faster anyway with SATA. Uh, that's, uh, that's limited by the SATA bandwidth, because SATA bandwidth is around 500 megabyte per second. So that means our SATA SSD controller already reached the bandwidth, the top of the memory. If you are on the faster SSD, of course, it will go into the Gen NVA Gen 3 and NVA Gen 4. Of course, we also have a Gen 3 and the Gen 4 embedded solution. Like uh, our uh, 5772, it is a DRLS Gen 4 SSD here. So, um, this is NVMe? Yes, NVMe, Gen 4x4. PCI Gen 4x4? Yes. So what does it mean, the faster speed? Of course. How fast? Um, oh, here. This model, 5772, is our mainstream Gen 4x4 SSD solution. 6,000? Yes, the max speed for the transfer speed is the 6,000 megabyte per second. What is the difference in price between us, this kind of solution and this kind of solution? Okay, uh, this is the embedded in application for PC notebook. Uh, this is a external SSD solution. Type C? Yes, Type C, that's right. But what is the difference in price maybe of the whole storage, the price per terabyte? It will be similar or will be much higher here? Uh, because uh, Realtek uh, is an SSD controller provider. You don't control the we storage. Don't, we don't build the module, but uh, as we know, uh, the price, maybe the external SSD will be better because, uh, of course, the USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2, the bandwidth is 2000. So you can see this segment. The max speed is 2000. And still have the difference between the Gen 4 by 4, 6,000. So this is more for consumer market, uh, uh, portable application. So of course the, the price will be more interesting for the end user. But so you cannot do, uh, I mean there's three different things here, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about SATA. Yes. And USB 3.2 2, Gen 2x2. 2 yes. And uh, PCI Gen 3 4x4. 4 4. Yes. I'm just trying to understand, you know, like uh, this is also uh, could be external Type C device. This is Type C interface, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so this is cheaper memory, medium and high. Oh no, this, this, the same. 
Same. Yeah, the same. This is the module, but yeah. we, we built the SD controller RM1220. But so it's the same, but this is only 500, this can do 2000. Only oh, no, 500 is SATA interface, this one. Yeah. Uh, this one is 2000. Ah, Type C version. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's that's awesome. Uh, are you a market leader in SSD controller? Uh, yes, I'm the product marketing. For and SSD are you controller. the market leader in the whole market? Uh, no. Realtek is the best for SATA controller. Yes, of course. Yeah. Realtek has the best SATA SATA controller for the worldwide market. How long time it take before this reach the market? Uh, you mean the SATA what this one or the USB Type C? Yeah, both. Around Q4 this year. Q4 and. Uh, Q3 this year. All right, mm -hmm. and this one is already, already in the market. Already in the market. Yeah. All right, cool. Is it a very safe storage? Of course. Does the controller take care of uh, redundant data reliability? Yes. Yes. How does it work? It's very smart algorithm. Uh, yes, in the controller. When we design, we will uh, make the LD PC engine to correct the uh, error bit for the NAND. So we have the 4K LD PC. It's the best uh, LD PC engine in the market right now in this controller. Uh, is my idea, does it make any sense to have um, something like a RAID mm. where I record to two different storage at the same time? When I connect one Type C, mm -hmm. I want to have two copy just in case one is broken. I just want to have a copy. What well, makes no sense? What I'm saying? Yeah, you make the sense, but uh, the great solution in, in your in your mention, it's maybe depends on the motherboard and the notebook, not for the SSD device. Because I want one external device, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. One SSD. Yes. Have two storage inside. Mm. Does, does it make sense or does it make sense? And I connect one Type-C and I have two copies. Uh, I'm not really understand, but I'm not sure if there is there have a great controller for the Type-C, a USB Type-C interface. I, I know your, 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 your question, but uh, it, it requires another controller to make a RAID 0 or RAID 1 for two Type-C interface, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe. Is a, I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah. But the way you do the data security, mm -hmm. maybe you already make redundancy in the system mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter if I have two of them or if I just have one, it will be same level of security. I don't know. It makes no sense what I'm saying. Huh? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot.